Hello, this is Lee from The Game Creators and this time we're going to take a close look at terrain texture painting. So we've already seen terrain sculpting, that is the idea that you can raise like a hill, you can do lower to create some sort of a hole, you can even have the shape of your brush to change. So let's see we did a platform on which you could put a build in. But now we'd like to announce some progress on terrain painting. So if we switch back to paint mode, we can now do something like this. So we can paint nice gravel over top of the grass. We can paint inside this hole. We can change the texture again. Maybe add some rocks to the bottom of the hole. We can paint this rocky raised area of the terrain. We can probably do the same with this platform. We can add some grass back. We can just feather it in. And we can also add some rocks on the grass. So let's do a little path. Goes round and off there into the distance. You can also modify the strength of the brush. Right now it was on normal mode. We can go to hard. As you can see, it doesn't do any smoothing around the edges. So this is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one fifth one and sixth one and then there's let's just put that back and then there's a third one which is uh, subtle it's very subtle it's the um, soft brush so we've got a nine and this time look what we can do it's a very subtle paint slowly merging the new texture over the existing texture so we can turn that rather gray outcrop into something a little bit more sandy Of course, the great thing about the new terrain painting system is the fact there isn't any banding. So, for example, let's say I were to paint a path. So let's go back to this sand and normal brush strength, and I just paint a path like so. You'll notice when I zoom closer to it, it's blended perfectly with the grass. As the path, the sandy path, went over the rocks, it blended with the rocks. No banding. Let's say I wanted to say, oh no, I want the rocks to go over the sandy path, then you can just paint the rocks back. Again, perfectly blending between the existing terrain texture and your brush texture. As you may be able to see, there's some mip mapping issues in that right now we're only painting the highest detail texture map. As it goes into the distance, you'll see what's called pixel swim. And that's because in the distance, we don't have the lower level mip maps to smooth that out when it renders to the screen. The paint system will automatically generate those mip maps in real time and then apply them to your scene on separate threads, maintaining your performance. You can have as many terrain textures as you want. The terrain simply acts like a very large canvas on which anything can be drawn. What you're looking at right now is merely a prototype. In the next version, you'll be able to see it integrated into the GameGuru Max interface. Check out the link below for a great discount on GameGuru Max. Don't forget, next Wednesday, we're going to do a live GameGuru Max broadcast. So go to the GameGuru forums and check out when that's going to be. Also, don't forget to subscribe and please do share this video.